Hi everyone, one, one whole year, year here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Larry June and Alchemist record, The Great Escape. What we have here is a crossover between San Francisco rapper Larry June and hip-hop production legend The Alchemist. If you know anything about rap, you understand it's usually kind of an event whenever The Alchemist decides to collaborate very intently with a particular artist. Not only because you know he's going to bring some great beats to the table, being the veteran that he is, he's worked with countless greats over the years, but these days he's more known for artist curation and just generally having a great ear for style and talent. Whether he's crafting modern classics with Freddie Gibbs, or helping to raise the awareness of underrated lyricists uh, such as New York duo Arm & Hammer or Detroit's Boldy James, or being on the cutting edge of underground trends like a lot of the moody vibes coming out of the abstract scene lately, which Alk has embraced in a myriad of ways, but most overtly through the this thing of ours EPs uh, that were recently released. All of this is a very small snapshot of his typically prolific output. And then there's Larry June, who's also known for keeping pretty busy. He's been putting out work for a while now, but in the last several years, he's released around a dozen mixtapes, albums, and collabs. His career thus far hasn't exactly seen the highs that The Alchemists has, but considering how long and consistently he's been at this, uh, one would say he's long overdue. And I'm sure a full menu of Alchemist Beats will bring him some well-deserved attention. So yeah, I went into this project with my hopes pretty high, but actually listening to the thing, I'm just not sure why it exists. I mean, there are some pretty dope Alchemist Beats on here with a lot of simple but tasteful and lush evocative loops, like with the cinematic and dreamy keys and horns on Turkish cotton, or the classy and woozy soul samples all over Porsches in Spanish. The sweet and sour guitar leads, as well as glamorous beds of strings on what happened to the world, are pretty great too. There's also Palisades, California, where you have a lot of eerie tones that are layered and manipulated in such a way, it's hard to tell exactly what is going on in this dreamy wall of sound, outside of some bits of bass and rhythm guitar. The instrumental on Orange Village is even more intoxicating, and maybe the best track on the record for it, that in the Slum Village feature. So yeah, there's a lot of good beats on this project, but a lot of them, ultimately for what they're used for, uh, come across like a waste. Because honestly, on this project, I find Larry June to be a bore to listen to. Part of it is that his flows and delivery are so average and understated, but it's not like I'm completely beyond being able to uh, appreciate or get the appeal of a, of a low-key rapper, be it Boldy James or Rock Marciano or the uh, very cerebral and poetic Ka. There's also Evidence, who turns up for a feature here too. But in comparison, Larry comes across nondescript and nondistinct much of the time, with slow flows and deadpan inflections that I just personally don't get much out of. The man himself doesn't even have anything remarkable to say about his own talents and abilities. On the track 89 Earthquake, he says, uh, this that go hard never quit flow so adequate your flow is adequate like it's fine like it's satisfactory it's not really a brag but i suppose it is the truth because on this project i truly can't call larry's uh, performances uh, anything more than adequate, uh, until they're not. Like on the song Solid Plan, where he sounds half asleep, uh, spinning this montage of generic business decisions, doing it at the pace of a sloth. And I suppose Larry's less than exciting delivery would be fine if it were uh, some kind of trade-off for lyrical focus or substance, uh, but it's just not. Oftentimes his bars and content come across as average as the flows themselves. As he drones on about making money and driving luxury cars and uh, having nice clothes, without much of a point or direction. There's also some gentle allusions toward uh, things like making deals, but he doesn't deliver uh, a level of grit or detail on any of these things to the point where you'd like call it coke rap or anything like that. Like if you're going into this album looking for wit or charisma or storytelling or a novel approach to the English language, some wordplay, something, uh, you're not going to find it. You could say Larry 
is pretty handily outshined by all of the features on this record too, be it through the charisma of Action Bronson or the really speedy triplet flow switch up from Big Sean on his appearance here. There are some sung vocals from Ty Dolla Sign who, you know, pretty much washes any vocal lead that Larry June tries to bring to the table on this LP too. Joey Badass and Currency, that's pretty much a done deal, obviously. And even Evidence, who I mentioned earlier, as laid back as he is, uh, laces some pretty great wordplay into his verse on this thing. And sadly, there's not a single moment from Larry himself uh, that is as rewindable uh, as this guest appearance. To give some credit where it's due, I will say that his meditation on love with the track Ocean Sounds is pretty heartfelt and refreshingly focused in comparison with a lot of other cuts here. And I suppose if you're looking for someone with a supreme amount of chill, he can be the rapper for you. But overall, I was not really into this project at all. I think there are some good and positive things about The Great Escape, but very few of them have to do with Larry himself. There are some standout beats and features uh, offered here. That's about it. You could say the best thing Larry does on this project is he doesn't distract too much. Uh, from the beats, because when it comes to flow, singing, delivery, pen game, lyrical focus, he's not really bringing it on any front whatsoever. I'm feeling a strong three to a light four on this one. Transition, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't die. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another one you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Larry June, forever.